hey what is up y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome today i'm gonna be tackling something that i know is gonna be interesting all right y'all so today i'm gonna be showing y'all how i wash my box braids how i'm going to maintain them how i go to sleep basically how i've kept them up for the past month and a half now i've had these braids for like i think i got them at the end of june yeah like 20th of June, I believe. So, I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. I have a really bad skin condition. I don't know if y'all can tell. And I cannot pronounce it to save my life, but it's like seboric derma something. And I can't think of it right now, but when I get it, when I do know, I'm gonna let y'all know. But I'm gonna show y'all how I wash my hair. Alright y'all, now I'm in my bathroom and I'm going to show y'all the shampoo that I'm going to be using. This, I'm going to be using the, um, Tresemme's Curl Hydrate Shampoo. And just so y'all know, I don't, I don't get, like, expensive shampoos. I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> like, I, when I, when I shampoo my hair, I use a lot. I use a lot of conditioner especially, so I don't really, I'm not going to spend, like, $15.00 on a shampoo and I spent like five for a big bottle. So yeah, I'm going to be using this shampoo and I'm going to be using this spray bottle and then I'm just going to put some of the shampoo in it. I believe. Find it. 
Yeah, and so the other one that I figured it was, it was this one, and this one is called psoriasis. I have no idea what it is exactly, because like I said, for long as I thought it was just eczema. So now that that's been confirmed that it's not just that. I'm looking for some new remedies on how to treat that. If y'all have any creative ideas or anything, please let me know, because your girl need help. And by the way, my whole entire head isn't like this. It's honestly just like the perimeter, like this, this much of the front and around to the back. And it's not as bad. It's the worst is in the front. So that's why I'm really trying to get it in up here. I'm trying not to use my fingernails because this is like really itches. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish doing this to the rest of my head. And then I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm done with my right side, now I'm gonna go in with my left. Also y'all, sometimes it gets so bad with the itching to where I'm scratching so much to where I either make myself bleed or for some reason there's like pus. Like you know how like you scratch a mosquito bite or something? If you scratch it, your, your, your fingers get kind of like a moist, wet. I hope my friend, my friend don't watch this video. She can be like, oh, she just said the word. She hates the M word. But, like, it gets really bad. Like, my fingers will be wet from scratching my scalp so much. That's why I try, I'm making sure I get literally between every last one of these braids. Because it's, it's, it's the struggle out here. Okay, so I've had these braids in for right at a month now, I believe. If not a month, like a month and a week or so. Um, does anybody else's braids still still be hurting after this time? Like if you flip them a certain way? Or is that just me being sensitive headed and tender headed? Because me doing that just now, it hurt. I'm very tender headed, y'all. Like I don't even like to call, I don't I don't like to do my own hair. But obviously I'm not gonna let anybody else do it. So <laughs> I don't let anyone else do my hair. I, I don't really trust anybody do my hair. I don't trust anybody to do my eyebrows. I, I do my own makeup. I don't, I don't really trust I have trust issues when it comes to certain things. So yeah. But am I the only one who is, who still has this kind of problem? braids still hurting after a month of having them like I've put it in the upside I've had it down majority of the time I have it like in the back ponytail my little one no let me know because I have no idea
All right, so now I'm done with the front. I'm still gonna wash the back. I just basically need to really, really assure that this front is well clean because this is where I have all of my problems. So I really wanna make sure this front is done. I really make sure I get like the hair that's behind my ear. That's where I also have that really bad skin condition at. Ooh, this feels so good. Um, I need to make sure I get my edges, you know, like my hairline. Cause like I said, it's gotten down on my forehead. I don't know if y'all can tell right here, but like I have, um, what is it called? Color, pig color pigmentation. Like I have a whole dark ring around the front of my forehead. And if you, if you don't know, like if you're not paying attention, you just think it's just my hair line, you know? No, it's just dark scaly skin. And make sure y'all get y'all if, if your sideburns. If you have sideburns, make sure you get your sideburns because those get dirty too. You can't, can't forget those. Oh, and also, this same condition I have, it somehow found its way to my eyebrows. Like, my eyebrows get really flaky, which is why I have to clean them. Uh, in my uh, eyebrow tutorial, you will see that I cleaned them because of this skin condition that I have. I just pray I can find like something to get rid of it. Because this is annoying. This is so annoying. Like, I can't. <laughs> oh god, it's just really annoying, y'all. Like, for real. Alright. Now I'm going to put some of the uh, shampoo on the braids. Not the whole braid. Basically just the braids that's around. That's uh, close to my scalp. And I'm only doing this because all that dandruff and buildup has gotten inside of the actual braids. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert some pictures so y'all can see. But like, it's not just on my scalp. Like, it will be, like, this is my braid, right? There's like dandruff like all the way up to here in my braid. So here on up, I gotta make sure I try to get that out. Alright, and now it's time for the back. I have no idea how I'm going to do this because I can't see it. But we're going to get it. So now I'm done putting the shampoo all through my hair. Next, I'm going to get into the shower so I can rinse it out. The reason why I didn't put the shampoo all through my braids is because one, I don't, this probably not all of it's not going to get out of the hair. Uh, two, um, when I rinse it out, all the shampoo is going to go down that, go down here anyway, so that's going to be fine. <sighs> Plus, it's going to be heavy. Oh, this is going to be heavy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get in the shower now.
right, so now that I'm out of the shower, I'm going to go in with my leave-in conditioner. This is my black, what is this? Carol's Daughter's Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just gonna go in on my roots with that. Now that I have moisturized my scalp and oiled it and everything, it's a little bit frizzy, like very slightly. So I'm going in with my mousse, I'm going in with my lot of body. Um, Twist 
stuff the bonnet, throw it in, I wrap it around the top and then it just falls on its own inside of the bonnet, boom. And um, it's like midday right now, the time is 12.02, so I mean I'm not going anywhere with any at all today. So. I'm just gonna stay like this and I'm gonna show y'all what my hair looks like when it's dry. What is up y'all? I am back. I just got back from a dinner date with my husband. And since I'm still trying to get my hair fully dried, I just rolled around with the windows down. It felt good out today. So I just rolled with the windows down. And it's still not fully dry yet. Like if I squeeze it, it's still a little wet. But this is what it looks like. These are my edges. It all worked out fine. I like the way it turned out. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use that technique more often. I like the oil that I use. Everything it turned out good. Thank y'all for watching my video. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of the Anastasia J family. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.